Russia-Ukraine war latest news. Putin's earmuffs scandal sets off controversy. Many on social media have made fun of Russian President Vladimir Putin for making an unexpected visit to Chechnya this week while wearing earmuffs. Vladimir Putin's first visit to the Chechen Republic in nearly 13 years coincided with a video of him watching a firing drill while wearing his earmuffs upside down. The leader of Russia had a meeting with the leader of the Chechen Republic, Ramzan Kadyrov, in Grozny on Tuesday. The state-run news outlet TASS said on Wednesday that Putin also spoke with volunteers who were trained to fight in the ongoing battle in Ukraine. Media depicting Putin with his earplugs inverted became viral online, does no one dare to tell him that's the wrong way to use earplugs? Written by an ex, formerly Twitter, user. For 11 years, I served as an officer and firearms instructor at a fish and game club. These headphones are completely new to me. Putin appears to be suffering from dementia, expressed another. I wonder why Putin, I didn't even recognize him at first, placed the headphones on this way, wrote Anton Gashenko, a former assistant to Ukraine's Minister of Internal Affairs. To sport a beard resembling that of Kadyrov? This is just ridiculous, wrote Sean Pinner, a former soldier from Britain and a serving Marine from Ukraine. Someone else on X said that Putin doesn't want to mess up his hair, while someone else said that some people will still call him a genius. There have been several photos of Putin with his headphones turned upside down, one of these was in 2007, while he was visiting the Tuva Republic in southern Siberia. In its most recent analysis of the Ukrainian crisis, the U.S.-based think tank, the Institute for the Study of War, ISW, concluded that Putin's travel to Chechnya was probably an effort to shift domestic focus away from the Ukrainian invasion into Korsk Oblast and pose normalcy and stability. Think tank members were making reference to the unexpected invasion of Korsk by Ukraine on August 6. The city borders the Sumy region of Ukraine and has forced the evacuation of tens of thousands of people. On Monday, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky announced that the Ukrainian military had taken control of 92 Russian villages and 1,250 square kilometers, 482 square miles, of Russian land. 